Welcome back uh, to another fun-filled episode of West of Nowhere. I am Levi. <laughs> I, I'm Shane. <laughs> I bet you guys fucking missed us, huh? No. You got a week off. I could maybe blew a couple fingers off. I didn't. I was very careful. I was also the only one lighting fireworks, and I don't know if that's cool or not. I feel like they were scapegoating me. They're like, well, if anybody's cool with losing a finger, it's Levi. Right, yeah. Yeah. So happy belated America's birthday. Yeah. And <laughs> hey, you better have blown shit up, otherwise the the flag doesn't fly right. So America. Yeah. The rockets reg lair, you know? Yeah. The bombs bursting in there. Yeah. Um <laughs> we'll get into that in a little bit, uh, more thoroughly. But who are our patrons? Who are they? Today? You know, I feel like at this point, I should just be able to say all their names off the top of my head. Yeah. But I can't. All right. Wait, wait. So, Adam Pacino, Keanu Reeves, Tony Burgess, Miles Glenn, Sam Norton, Nunya Business, Colby Jordan Times Two, <laughs> Colby Jordan Squared, uh, <laughs> Jade Marsh, Colby Squared, uh, Uncle Steve, Natalie Tacarante. Mark Stadler, Kylie Gangwish, Alec Ricks. Yeah, there you go. And Colton. Oh, God, every time, dude. Colton, <laughs> can you please just get your shit together and swap over so that it yeah. comes up on this list? You know, I saw him not that long ago, and he was like, you know what, fuck you guys with your fax machine. <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> <laughs> he finally finally got up, but you know, it's hard to he- I'm pretty sure he works at home still right now, so yeah, it's kind of hard for him to like. He doesn't have a commute really to listen to anything, and when he's at home, he's like calling people and shit. I guess I don't know. Sounds made up to me. Anyway, if you want to be one of those fabulous people, you can go to our link tree, which is link tree slash walk pod. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then you could, or just like. You know, follow that. Follow all the branches of the link tree, and it'll take you wherever the fuck you want to go. Um, if you're wanting to go to like one of like four places, <laughs> <laughs> it'll take you exactly where you want to go. Um, yeah, we got all the important links there. But if you somehow, if you listen to some kind of random podcast thing, we might be there yeah. too. Hopefully, that'd be. Cool. I mean, uh, Amazon Prime, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Spotify. Amazon Prime has podcast. Yeah, yeah, and we're on there. Holy shit, I, I didn't even know that. <laughs> uh, who the fuck listens to podcasts on Amazon Prime? That seems very Dude, random. Amazon, so everyone had it wrong. You know, remember a couple years back, everyone was like, you know, Google is going to be the singularity. It's not Google. Amazon. They're, they're literally, they're, they're slowly leaking their way into everything. Yeah. You can get your Ooh. prescriptions from them. You can get your clothes, That's your true. food, your books, movies, like music. You can even buy a car on Amazon, well, I'm pretty sure. Really? Yeah. I, th- I was like on there the other day and it was like, what kind of car do you want? I was like, what? Let's calm down. I'm not. <laughs> and or, I don't know if it's just like people using it as like a third party kind of yeah. thing, but like, it's like, that's a little fucking weird. Um, Yeah. So. And then they're, anyway. they're they have the, they're like they're gonna start using the drones pretty soon. Yeah, <laughs> an old Baldy McGee still trying to go to space. He he's gonna go, dude. Him and fucking who? What's his name? Elon? Tesla. Uh, Elon. Elon Musk. Yeah, dude. Richard Branson just went to space this weekend. What? Like it was like a three minute flight. Like he just went out of the atmosphere and his fucking Virgin, the Virgin Company. Yeah, that's Richard Branson and. Yeah, he's like, oh, I'm going to space, isn't it? Because he's British, but... <laughs> um, <laughs> Actually, he's got like a... That's a little cockney He's She's got like the cooler sounding British accents, if there is one, but like if you had to rank it on a scale from like 
Russell Brand to like, I don't know, the dude from Hobbit. Like it's <laughs> which which dude from Hobbit? <laughs> Sam? No, he's not even British. No, Gollum? Uh, no, uh, <laughs> Hobbit. Hobbit, not fucking Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Martin Freeman is his name. Oh. He plays Bilbo, the younger dude. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's got, like, a normal British accent, and then, like, you know, Russell Brand's got that very annoying, like, what is going on, and why are my ears bleeding <laughs> British accent? Dude, question for you. <laughs> okay. Is there one particular accent that you would have sex with? And I mean to the point where, like, she may not be... Like she may not be the prettiest, but if she had this accent, you'd be like, I'd st- I'd still have sex with her. Australian, hundred percent. Okay, cool. That's why we're best friends. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, my uh, my Siri is Australian because <laughs> you could change its like voice, and I made it a female Australian. I was like, here we go. I have sex with my phone. I was gonna say, do you only do you only use Siri in the car in your car? Uh, I, yeah, that's typically the only time I use So you just, you're just like driving down the road doing 65 with random boners. It's like you're a kid again. Yep. Yeah. 100%. <laughs> Dude, speaking of being a kid again, oh, look, let me move my head. I got all my Legos back. Check that out. Got all my Bionicles and shit. Bionicles or Legos? A, yeah. And then I got this huge tote full of Legos back there. <laughs> so kind of winning at life right Who now. had those, uh, Tom? No, they oh. were at my mom's house, and my little brother was like, hey, do you want these? I was like, yup. So I fucking <laughs> went and grabbed them. Um, anyway. Yeah, so. All right. There's a lot going on. Yeah. Should we just roll into We should it? just fucking go. Bill Cosby. You guys remember him? <laughs> no. Um, Pudding. From like three, we- <laughs> three weeks ago, <laughs> two weeks ago. Um. So, we last talked about him when he was up for parole, and they were like, fuck you, you're not you're not getting out of this. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> he got out of it. He's, he fucking has been released, and um, basically, so, it's kind of like a weird situation. Like, he was promised in an investigation in, like, the mid-2000s, yeah. basically, not immunity, but, like, kind of immunity. Um, if he would ha- uh, gave his verbal testimony under oath. And then that kind of like stayed underground for a long time. And then that testimony that he gave um, ended up being a lot of the basis for his actual prosecution, like when he got prosecuted more recently. Yeah. Um, and that that testimony was, he made a deal with a, uh, I think it was the district attorney at the time in where, wherever he was and basically was like, hey, I'm going to give you this testimony, but it, I'm not going to be like charged with anything down the road related to this. Yeah. So <laughs> it's fucked up, but like that's kind of how our system works. Yeah. Like they can't like overrule that. Like it's almost like a plea deal, but. Yeah, it's pretty fucked up. Yeah. Like, a lot of people are really mad, and then there's even some people who are like, ha, told you he was innocent, and like, like that's not what fucking happened. He still, under oath, said, I used to give women quaaludes to have sex with them, and then there's however many people, like, that are like, yeah, totally did that to me, <laughs> and they're like, yeah, he's fucking super innocent, see? He's out. Like, that's not what's happening. It's actually just, kind of just shows you how fucked up our system is, but... Yeah. So anyway, Bill Cosby's out. Him and O.J. Simpson are probably gonna hang out a lot. That's so it said. Yeah, that, that deal that he cut was back in '05. Yeah, and that crazy. So like when this all came out, um, Hannibal Burris was like doing bits about it before it like got really big. Yeah. And like, so it just was like leaking underground until it like kind of like progressed into like semi-mainstream like he was it was in like comedy clubs that he was talking about it and shit and then now it's just everywhere but um i i even have an article pulled up right now about um he uh, his attorney claims that one of the accusers um uh, said that she wanted to blackmail him and this is from 2014 yeah this this article's from i was like jesus christ like this has been going on way longer than it's been in like the news and obviously, uh, 
<laughs> it's obviously been going on for a long time because you know uh, like ha some of the accusations um are really really old and what's really shitty is like a lot of the accusations like there are um statute of limitations on them so the ones that weren't included in that plea deal or not whatever the fuck agreement he made can't be pursued criminally because they're so old like there's like nothing they can do about it which is why they weren't included in the one that actually put him in jail right so it's pretty fucked up <laughs> um i was watching so like I, w I was watching this video on YouTube about it and, uh, like, just explaining this kind of, like, overturning whatever. And then I saw another video-related video, and they were talking about, um, I guess, like, hip, like him in relation to, like, I don't know. It, it was, like, a weird thing, like, how he's, like, kind of, like, dropping hints throughout his career. Yeah, and There's, like, an episode of, like, The Cosby Show. Where he like talk, he's got this secret barbecue sauce that always makes people want to fuck, and then he talks about it in like an act on like one of his stand up specials, like in like, not obviously like ah oh, fucking drugs when like it was like a little more coded. Than yeah, that. yeah, but yeah. It's like it's so weird, like, because those kinds of people, like those extreme narcissistic and like predatory kind of people, yeah, they do shit. Like oh that. yeah, like they, they like think either a they think that they're fucking invincible or b they think that they're like or like subconsciously they're trying to like or they want the chase or something like that yeah. along those lines right so yeah uh pretty fucked up and yeah probably nobody's probably ever going to be able to do anything more to him either because of this whole fucking deal. Well, because no, I think I think the I think the main reason that they convicted him of this one was because that was the one with the most evidence. And the rest of them didn't have nowhere near enough evidence to convict him. So if yeah. this one got thrown out and they can't retry him on this case, then yeah. he'll probably never get convicted of anything again or tried of anything, which is terrible. At the same time, I don't think that dude will work literally ever again. No, um, there's a, so the comedy seller in New York has already banned him. <laughs> like, like he can't fucking, he can't even walk in the door here. And that's like one of the biggest comedy clubs in New York City. And they're like, fuck. You know what's crazy though? It's just like, I get it. Like he was promised immunity, but he committed a crime. You know what I mean? Like, um, like a pretty heinous thing. Like, the, like, especially in this day and age where we're, like especially, I guess, like you know, during the midst of like the Me Too movement when it, like, I guess when it like first came out, like, I just don't understand. I I get it. Like if you if you don't uphold the law and everything, then you then it makes it appear weak and shit like that. But yeah, at the same time, I, it's like more it's morally wrong. Like I don't care if the law doesn't fit to it. Like he should stay in prison. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Yeah, it's just kind of like one of those fucking things where it's like, there's like these systems built in and they're like, hey, we need you to give us information. And then they're like, all right, cool. I want this or whatever. And they like have to like barter with these people. And they do. But like at the cost of this whatever person, you know, ends up being free. Like, there's, there's all sorts of, like, famous examples. Like, there, I mean, the biggest examples are, like, uh, people after, uh, World War II, like, Operation Paperclip, they were like, hey, we're just gonna hire a bunch of former Nazi scientists and then, like, that, whatever the fuck they did, we're just gonna sweep under the rug. Yeah. Like, so they can help, help us build rockets and stuff, and it's like... Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, I always, I, I mean, I really think that, like, if the point of making, if our society is supposed to get gradually better, then looking back and seeing for that, for example, that was wrong. We should have fucking did something about it then. Even, even if it did end up like, whatever, progressing us as far yeah. as science goes, like, we should, I don't know, should, we should strive to be better than that. Like, right. And what happened to, like, cause, like, I, I just read there's no written, there was no written agreement. It was all verbal. Yeah. So, since when does a verbal agreement stand up in court? That's nuts to me. Yeah. 
It's all very wishy washy. I don't know. Um, want to hear about another famous <laughs> uh, person who's in trouble right now? Yeah. Okay, Drake Bell from Drake and Josh. Remember? Yeah. Him? What do you do? Uh, he just pled guilty. Oh. Um, to, let's see. Let me get the right words here. Um. Oh, uh, pled guilty to felony, attempted child endangerment, and misdemeanor charge of disseminating matter harmful to juveniles. Oh, dude, uh, he's a chomo. Yeah, 100%. Dude. Um, so it's related to, it, they won't get into specifics in any of the things I read, but it says it's related to a girl who met him online and attended one of his concerts in 2017 when she was 15. Whoops. Um... So they had developed a relationship online several years prior to the concert, which means she was even younger than 15. Yeah. Um, disseminating harmful material charges uh, concerned Bell um, having sent the girl inappropriate social media messages. So um, that's about all like the, the um, you know. Dude. But, he, but he's only going to, he's, on, he's only facing t- up to two years. Yeah. So it's really not that much. I mean, it's nothing. And he's gonna go to like one of those like blue collar prisons, oh, where yeah, they got like a tennis court and. <laughs> yeah. God. Yeah. So anyway, so that's that's fine, dude. Um, <laughs> it just blows my mind, dude. Like you're famous, even if you're not like super famous. He's definitely like a seat, maybe like a B list, like celebrity. I would say probably. Yeah. You're still fa- you're still famous. You're telling yeah. me you can't find a girl hot enough and old enough to, or, or like some girl that fits your yeah. standards that's old enough? You can't. Yeah, yeah. you're a liar. It's. Pretty <laughs> fucked up. Um, I mean, Matthew Perry found that girl on that dating app for stars. You know? Yeah, <laughs> come on, guys. Fuck. And Drake, Drake's a handsome dude. He could definitely find somebody. I mean, come on. Whatever. Um. <sighs> Dude, let's let's send him a let's send him a west of nowhere like letter to jail. Hey, dude, we'll bet we'll date you. (laughs) We're old enough too, so and I know that I know that's not what you're into, but but it's better than you know going to jail. Yeah, you should stop Uh, that. Speaking of (laughs) people going to jail for indecent acts with children, oh what the fuck? uh, Yeah, I got another one. Okay, comes in threes apparently. Um, kind of uh, Barkate. Barcavius Mingo, that's, Atlanta Falcons linebacker. I can't even spell that, so that's not going in. The, I'm just going to put Atlanta Falcons linebacker in the description. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Atlanta Falcons uh, linebacker Barcavius Mingo um, was arrested on one count of indecency with a child sexual contact last oh week. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, so the Falcons fired him, which is good. Um so yeah, that's and it's still pretty new, so there's not a whole lot of information, but um yeah, he's he's not really that good either, so yeah. I mean we're talking about he, the Falcons, it's not like Well he played for the Bears last year. Oh okay. And then, <laughs> and then now he was you know, they I can't remember if he he went free agent and then moved to the Falcons this off season. It, it just I don't know, dude. Like what? And obviously, his lawyers uh, that said that the allegations are completely baseless. Dude, let's just. Meanwhile, what the fuck is happening with Deshaun Watson? I haven't heard anything about him since. Oh, you're talking about like after he got like uh like the, that charge for that one girl, and then 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 out of nowhere like it was like forty other. It was ones. like twenty one. It was like twenty other ones, but still, yeah, yeah it's still a lot. But still, like it, I haven't heard anything about him since. dude I, we remember remember back on fucking nowhere in the middle when we were like yo it's yeah. a conspiracy he probably was like you know what guys i'll uh i'll stay i'll stay on the team and <laughs> uh maybe gone i guess he did a uh personal workout with um jordan love and justin fields this off season so like recently too so i um... I don't know. I don't know what's happening with him. They like there's been like zero information. There are some people who are like maybe he did it to himself so they would fire him. <laughs> I was like, ah, I feel like you don't want to put that kind of target on your back. <laughs> you purposely sexually harassed 21 women just yeah. to get fired. 
There's got to be or easier like, ways. It, or it's fake, right? So you got the... that was the... Oh, right. He just paid 21 women to say that? Yeah, but like, that again, like yeah. that's like a really damning thing. Why would you not uh, just like, I don't know, take some cocaine right before a drug test? Oh, man. Yeah. Fired. Yeah. And no, and okay. and no one's gonna. Josh Gordon. <laughs> no one's gonna hate you for doing a little cocaine. You know they're gonna be they're gonna be like, yo, that's bad. But yeah. no one like, but, but now I guarantee he's you gotten get like, like a four game suspension or whatever. And then, dude, I guarantee there's like a shit ton of Twitter messages to him where like they're like women and men who are like threatening to like kill him and shit. Probably. Um. So the Olympics are coming up. Which ones? The, the winter ones? The summer ones? The, the special summer ones? Olympics. Well, the summer <laughs> Olympics. Um, they were supposed to be last year, but obviously there was something that happened and couldn't do it for some reason. Well, um, and there's been a fuck ton of stuff going on. Um, notably, the... Uh, the uh, I don't know what her... Uh, what her event is. I think she's a runner, like a sprinter. Shikari Richardson, yeah, who got barred from the Olympics after testing positive for marijuana, dude. All these, <laughs> and they're like, "That's a performance enhancing drug," according to the Olympic Committee. And everybody's like, "Dude, she's a sprinter. Like, how? <laughs> what? Like, how is that?" And like, the issue is, is like, um, well, like one of the issues, I guess, like, so she. You know, she did this interview with a lady, and then um, the lady told her about her mom being involved in, like, a car accident or something something tragic going on. Yeah. And, like, I think her mom died, and she was like, I'm gonna get high, fuck it, like, I'm just gonna, this is how I deal with shit, apparently. And, <laughs> and they're like, no, can't fucking, can't come to the Olympics, bro. Uh- with what is it like? There's got to like I don't I don't even, I don't even know what the like what the number of states is now, but there it's like there's a lot of states like there, it's like a wave that's slowly happening you know yeah it's like Virginia California New Mexico like there's a whole bunch of them Co- Colorado it's all legal like so and even if it was nobody in their right mind goes you know what I'm gonna go to the gym and get huge but before I go to the gym. I'm going to smoke a fucking bowl, and then I'm going to get so fucking jacked. Nobody says that. Yeah. Nobody. (laughs) Maybe Joe Rogan, I guess, but he's not real, so. Um, I don't think he, I I guarantee he doesn't smoke as much weed as we think he does. Yeah. You know? I mean, probably. Because he's like a fucking health nut. Oh, yeah, that's true. He probably takes a bunch of edibles, though. I bet he doesn't smoke that much, but he probably does a lot of edibles. Ooh. Um, anyway, so this lady <laughs> can't fucking run in the Olympics because she did. She did a weed, and they're like, you can't play with us this summer. And it's so fucked up, because it's like, so apparently it was added to the, uh, uh, banned substances of the Olympics. Yeah. After a Canadian gold medalist had tested positive in 1998. Um, and then, like... The op- the United States, like, right after that, were like, yeah, obviously this is bad because it, it inspires young people to do it and it fucks them up, blah, blah, blah. Same old, you know, same old song and dance. Um, But yeah, so this lady can't run and everybody's fucking pissed off about it. There's a bunch of, like, famous people who are, like, all athletes and, like, what the fuck? This is all fucked up. And then you got um this other lady going, uh, what's her name? Hold on. Gwen Berry. Okay. And Gwen Berry placed third in a event, um, pre Olympic event. <laughs> and uh during the you know, what after they presented the medals and they're standing on the thing, they play the Star Spangled Banner and everybody faces the flag and you know, puts their hand on their heart. Oh great. Blah, blah, blah. And she didn't kneel. Okay. But she looked the other way, and she had a hat, or not a hat, a shirt that said activist athlete. Oh, cool. And so everybody's mad. Um, I mean, that's And this not... isn't, like, the first time she's done anything, yeah, yeah. like, activist about it. Activist-y. Like, <laughs> yeah, Word of the day. I think. Yep. <laughs> um, 
But like, what's dumb about it to me is the fact that people are like, with Colin Kaepernick, they're like, you fucking stand for the national anthem, you piece of shit. Blah, 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 blah. And this lady didn't kneel. <laughs> she just looked the other way. They're like, you fucking look at the flag. <laughs> look <goddammit>. at it. <laughs> would, you just, like, would you just look at it? Would you just look at it? <laughs> so, like, they just keep moving the goalpost about this. Dude. Like, what's the right way to fucking um, protest or, like, do anything? And apparently you just can't do it during the special song. Otherwise, you know, otherwise it just ends freedom as we know it, clearly. Um, so speaking of the um uh, of a uh, Carrie or Car- what's her name Carly Richardson Carrie Richardson, Shikari Richardson. Oh, somebody. Oh, never mind. Whatever. I had it and then I lost it. I had the name <laughs> and then I lost it anyway. Okay. So I seen a meme and it was and it said so an an Olympic athlete can't like be in the Olympics if she smokes marijuana, but a transgender person can be can like uh, like I think I think it was male to female transition. Can compete can compete as a woman after only having like less te- whatever the female hormone is. <clears throat> I just thought it was stupid because again here and it's always the people in my like friend group and my like friends on Facebook that are like super left leaning that try to make these like crazy parallels. Yeah. Like they're not that's not the same. Yeah. Like you yeah, yeah. and it fucking drives me insane. What's really dumb is there's been somebody who has transgendered female to male, or male to female, I mean, um, who was, uh, she she can't compete in the Olympics because she tested um, out of range for, like, ideal, like, certain hormones were out of range. Yeah. Like, she had too much testosterone in her system. Okay. Um, and so, like, nobody, like, nobody who was either for or against them competing has talked about it at all because they're like, I don't know, like it doesn't fit any. Kind yeah, of exactly. Like it doesn't fit the the against people because it's like, oh, they are testing these things, which they think that give them, uh, you know, a benefit. And then like for the people that are for them competing, it's like there's not really a controversy. Like <laughs> it's all lumped into the right where it should be, and they're like, ah, okay, <laughs> so it's dumb. There's uh, there's no making anyone happy. No. Everybody's gonna be mad. <laughs> um, one of the things that I thought about when I was reading about the uh, the lady Gwen Berry for you know her protest during the national anthem, there's a lot of people who are like you know naturally like oh you fucking whatever same <laughs> same fucking response that they make every time somebody protests during the national anthem, right? And then there's like some people who are like you guys uh, realize like. It's not natural for like people, African American people, to want to like love that song because there's like that third stanza that's never included. But like the whole song, the, there's like the last section gets cut out, like of the original. Oh, one, really? And they talk about the slaves. Oh, wow. In it. Yeah. And like nobody ever brings that up. <laughs> I didn't know that. Until something like this happened. <laughs> yeah. So. Like, that's why, like, people were like, oh, we got fucking Francis Scott Key canceled because he's a racist piece of shit. He had slaves talking about, basically, I don't I don't know what he was trying to say, but I know people don't like it. And and then, like, I saw this other guy, like, this one of my friends, he shared a thing about uh, Jesse Owens. Yeah. You know who that is? Yes. Do you? He's a, he, he was a runner, right? He ran? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. Um, yeah. So he was in the Olympics in the 30s, 1936 Olympics specifically. Okay. Which was in Berlin, Germany. Ooh. I don't know if you remember, but there's this guy with a funny mustache that used to live there around this time. Yeah. And didn't really like anybody that wasn't white. So, uh, <laughs> so like there's this picture. Jesse Owens won the gold medal, and the whole thing that 36 Olympics was like basically like Hitler's Aryan theory getting shattered because all these black dudes from America were fucking <laughs> walloping all these Aryan dudes in Germany, right? So there's a picture of Jesse Owens saluting during this thing, like, because he won, and then there's a guy who I think he finished third, and he's doing the the Hell Hitler um, thing. Yeah, so they're like, 
trying to basically like, oh, hey, well, look at this guy. He was like, he saluted proudly to the flag and he had like way better, way worse conditions than any of the people that are, you know, now like had to deal with. And he was still proud of this country. And I was like, yeah, I guess that's true. But like, also, he did, can you imagine if he would have fucking done something like this back yeah, then? Yeah, dude, no, like he his life would have been fucking miserable. Yeah. <laughs> He would have been murdered, for sure. Like, if fucking uh, Emmett Till can't whistle at a lady, which didn't actually even happen, and he got murdered, can you imagine an athlete not saluting the American flag, like, coming back? Like, it would have been real. No, yeah, they would, they, would have, they would have stripped him of his medal, they would have disgraced his name, and then he probably would have died in some horrible way, and they'd, they would have been like, oh, you know, he... You know how they are, and it's like, yo, what? <laughs> what? Yeah. That was pretty fun. Like, it, it would have been terrible. Yeah, no. It, he yeah. couldn't have. Like, it's different now. The The country has changed. People, like, it has come a long way from, from that time period. Holy <laughs> yeah, fuck. Yeah. 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 Um, I got a funny story. No, you don't. To, to wrap it up. Yeah. Uh, women arrested at McDonald's after pulling into drive through food during car chase. So this lady was in a car chase with police, and she, she was like, she uh, allegedly stole a company car, that, and she uh, went to McDonald's and stopped, and uh, it was a low, low speed fucking pursuit, I guess, but <laughs> she just pulled in. Yeah. And, and they're like, hey, hey, ah. <laughs> hey, you gotta, hey, you gotta stop. Hey, <laughs> hey what, are you, what are you doing? What Dude, I don't know about you, man, but sometimes I'm driving down the road and I'm just like, McDonald's. Oh, shit. You know? I, I whist- Yeah, that's what I do. I, I whistle at the McDonald's and then I pull in there. Because <laughs> sometimes you just need a couple McDoubles with some Mac yeah. sauce on them. Poor man's Big Mac, you know? Yep. Fucking, fucking A crowbar. <laughs> yeah. I thought that was... That... <laughs> Uh, what's funny is like in the description of the article, they're like, she entered, uh, the suspect entered a McDonald's drive through in the area and then quotes in an attempt to order food end quote. Like <laughs> no shit. That's what she like. Why, why is that a quote? That's so random. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. That's all. I got. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll do the old billboard 200. All right. Yeah, what we got going on? Look, so since we missed out on two week on like a whole, on like two weeks, oh, almost yeah. two weeks of Billboard, I'm just gonna do the first. I'm gonna do the ten. All right. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna do ten of them <laughs> just to make up for it, even though it's not Is how it that works. Is because your boy fucking dropped out of the top? Five? Is it? I don't. I, I haven't I don't looked. Know. <laughs> I just. I just assume. I hope. I actually. I hope it. that he did so that that's a good. So that it looks like I'm. <laughs> oh no. That's exactly what happened. All right. So, number one uh, this week, Call Me If You Get Lost by Tyler, the Creator. That's oh, probably okay. probably pretty good. He He's such a weird dude. I forgot about him. He's such a weird dude. Yeah. <laughs> um, Planet Her uh, by Doja Cat at number two. Oh. Which, have you listened to her music? She's fucking... Uh-uh. So, like, she has like one song that I don't, I don't mind if it comes on. I'm like, okay, this is all right. But like, the majority of her music is kind of dumb. <laughs> yeah. Like I don't like maybe that's just me. You know, whatever. Uh, Probably. At number three is "Sour" by Olivia, R- R- Olivia Rodrigo. She has that driver's license song. Yeah. That got covered fire last night. <laughs> uh, number four, "The Voices of Heroes" by Lil Baby and Lil Durk. Oh, okay. Here's what you know. What I want. When are we gonna stop what? putting "little" in front of rappers? names because yeah i don't get it i like i understood it at first but like now it just seems too you're like it just seems too much of a copy like it's yeah there's way too many rappers with a little in front of their name but they're supposed to be hard you know what i mean like if you like walk up to them they'll like fucking shank yeah. you if you're fucking talking shit yeah. or something <laughs> uh but little doesn't scream you know like intimidation shit yeah like I yeah. wanted a rapper to come out and I want his name to be like fucking Devastator. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm on board with that 100%. <laughs> Devastator. 
Um, at number five, we got Hall of Fame by Polo G. Never heard of him. Um, uh, down to number six, Dangerous the Double oh, Album, Morgan Wallen. <laughs> He's still in the top ten, though, you know? All right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> at number seven, we got Culture 3 by Amigos. Haven't listened to it, but I have heard good things about the album. Yeah. Um, this is a weird thing. Um, at number eight, Inside the Songs by Bo Burnham. Oh, he's he has an album okay. on the top ten. <laughs> That's pretty cool. It's all the songs off of that comedy special. Yeah. Um, yeah. Then we have at number nine, Future Nostalgia by Dua Lipa. Still haven't listened to that. Uh, and then at number ten, Justice by Justin Bieber. Um, <laughs> not related, but <laughs> yeah, I watched. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> I watched that uh, that Tomorrow War movie. Dude, he, did you watch? Yeah, it? you didn't like it. It was. I like the story. And I like the effects. Yeah, but the fucking acting was very weird. What? There were so many cringy moments in it, and I was like, I saw him coming all like a mile away, and I was like, this is like hard to like. It took me out of it. A few times. I see. But I thought that movie was... overall. I thought it was a decent movie, but like, God, some of those parts, I was like, okay, I'm not believing anything you're saying, Chris Pratt. What Which are you talking? Like... Chris Pratt, if he was from America, would be a national treasure, isn't he Canadian? I don't know. Probably fucking with that acting, I wouldn't. Be you get um, the fuck out of here, Chris... dude. It was so bad. Like <sighs> when him and his don't well, well whatever. Okay. Spoiler yeah, alert. Okay. Just say his no, daughter. Just, mean, say his the, daughter. A, just, yeah, just say his, his daughter. There's a yeah, his daughter. His daughter. A, well, the, actually, b- both of the scenes that I'm thinking of are both with his okay. daughter, and it's like just very, like his lines. Like she's very intense in one scene, and he's just like, yeah, like <laughs> it's like so bad, it's so weird. And then there's another scene where he's like, I'm doing it for my daughter, and I'm like all epic and shit and i'm like okay bro like i saw you saying that like four years ago like i like i could see it coming down the line and i was like you can't and like there's another one i can't remember what it was specifically but i was like i was like oh he's gonna say like i just quoted what he was gonna say yeah like two seconds before he said it <laughs> yeah don't listen look our you know our valued listeners don't listen to levi for once I don't hate something and he doesn't, or he does. It's a good movie. Watch it. He's too critical, all right? This dude has watched, he's watched way too many movies. He's too critical. (laughs) Here's the dumb thing is that you fucking do that shit all the time. (laughs) And it's like, I can't have one fucking critique on one part of a movie. I think if it was a different actor other than Chris Pratt, it probably would have been fine. I just don't think he has that kind of range where he can like convince me anything like i just didn't buy any of it from him dude can we talk about his butt like that that dude he makes friends with his butt his buddy oh. the guy he makes friends with who's like funny yeah <laughs> yeah i was like dude, what are you doing here <laughs> dude he was hilarious i like when they go back to the school yeah and like they're talking to that kid about the about the thing yeah and that guy was like i would have killed for a moment like this in high school <laughs> So like I said, there are like a lot of redeeming moments in it, but God, the, some of the serious moments just took me right out of it. Oh, fuck. <sighs> and I like it. It's really v- kind of funny because like before the movie, I was like, okay, like I got I gotta like m- prepare my brain because it's like when I watch sci-fi movies, like I don't like to get bogged down with a lot of details because then I'm like overthinking about what they're talking about and shit. And I'm like, okay, well that doesn't even make sense. Like that science doesn't make sense. So like, I try to like just watch it for what it is and just as a movie and some movies like force their shit down your throat and they're like, here, you got to fucking understand the science, bro. <laughs> and I'm like, no, I don't. I just want to live in fantasy land right now. Well, see, like, haven't you gone I think the problem, I think what happens with that is man, is like there's whenever they release a movie that has some science in it and they don't, Take the time to explain it. You always have those fucking nerds who are like, <laughs> "Well, listen, actually, yeah, you can't. It's impossible." Yeah, they, they didn't even yeah. explain how. So how is like a regular person? It's like, shut up. It's a movie. Shut up. Yeah, yeah. 
Well, that's what, that's all you do to those people. <laughs> like, uh, that's never. I mean, look at fucking Fast and the Furious. Right oh now. my like, god! They fucking went to space, dude. Like, dude, are you tired of these family memes yet? <laughs> so it's funny you should mention that because <laughs> I am. But yeah, I was one of my friends shared something. And uh, they were like, it was like one of those posts where it's like, take a break from the family memes. Probably. Yeah. And, and I was like, I found out that there's one person on my friends list who I don't necessarily like at all. <laughs> and I don't know. And I don't know how they made it through the mass purge that I did. <laughs> um, but they fuck. I found out from somebody they else fuck, that huh? they fucking hate them. Oh. They fucking hate those memes. Oh. <laughs> and I was like guess i'm gonna keep sharing because <laughs> he told like i is a co-worker of mine and he told one of my buddies yeah i was like fucking levi and all those goddamn vin diesel memes blah 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 and i was like oh okay Bet. i guess i'll keep sharing them just to piss you <laughs> off and i don't even like you don't even know that i know that you know slingshot engage yeah <laughs> <laughs> so so i was like i haven't shared any for a while but like i thought it would be fun to uh you know to do that but all right real quick um okay have you do you like slasher films yep have you noticed what's on netflix right now no so netflix is doing a three-part movie thing oh yeah fear... i haven't watched it yet i was gonna wait till the third one uh, okay out. yeah fear street or yeah so fear street 1994 and then fear street 1978 are out right now and then fear street 1666 is gonna come out i guess at a later date yeah, they're going backwards. And okay. yeah, yeah. So part one is ninety four, part two is seventy eight, and then part three is sixteen sixty six. Um the fr- I like the first one. If you like your typical slasher movie, that's what it is with like a supernatural yeah. twist to it. Okay. Like uh okay. it's and it's like I think it's done great. It has like funny stuff in it and it's like fucking it's gory, like a typical like yeah. slasher. Uh, they're they're done really well. Um nice. I actually stopped seventy eight to come do this episode, so I'm gonna go finish it after the show. <laughs> but uh definitely uh, if you like slasher movies, check out Fear Street. Hell yeah. Hey, I was gonna watch them and then I was like, I saw the thing that said it was like, oh, three parter, and I was like, uh I'll just I guess I'll just wait. Like <laughs> I guess I'll just hmm. I don't know. <laughs> um Yeah. I God, there was oh, um, you'd have to fucking look for it okay i watched this or i started watching this documentary it's called the jinx the jinx and it's about this guy who may have murdered a few like uh, quite a few people but like definitely murdered one person okay he's like the the heir of like a a new york city real estate family okay like they own like skyscrapers in new york city like really rich people right and he is like out here murdering people and like pretending to be other people. And like, it's just a very weird story. And I just started it. There's like six, six episodes. Yeah. Um, is it? I'm pretty sure you, you can watch it on like any HBO thing because it was an HBO documentary. Oh, great. Um, or docuseries. So give me your HBO yeah. login. I don't, <laughs> I don't have one. <laughs> I don't have one. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um, also, yeah, fucking my brother got me hooked on Brickmasters. Oh, cocaine TV show, okay. No, brick, <laughs> like Lego bricks. yeah, no, I know. <laughs> good, no, <laughs> fucking good job, <laughs> Tom. Way to go, <laughs> typical. Um, yeah, so I recommend anybody watch that if you got Hulu because it's pretty fucking fun. And some of those people are like crazy talented. Oh, yeah, like I was fucked around and built like stupid shit like a house and stuff and they're like i'm gonna build a fucking phoenix out of legos with no instructions i'm like okay yeah i definitely couldn't do it yeah <laughs> but, anyway. all right you got any other recommendations for no that's it uh content? check out the tomorrow war check out fear street oh um on amazon prime check out solos it's a Solo. it's a seven part anthology series, um each and it's like it centers around like one each episode centers around centers around like one person going through like some kind of like 
uh, I don't know, some kind of like detrimental experience. Uh, and, and it and it's mostly just that person uh, talking to you. So it's a lot of like, oh. it's a lot of like that person really the showing you their, like, no, they're talking pretty much to oh. you. It's, okay. it's done. It's amazing. It's a very, very good. The final episode has Morgan Freeman in it and that shit. Whew. Made you cry? I mean, dude, I was like, man, that's a lot, dude. Fuck you. All right. <laughs> um, if you liked this show and you actually, if you if you like me, because fuck Levi, you know what I'm saying? Um, well, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. What's up? <laughs> I've been thinking about it for a couple weeks now. Oh boy. <laughs> no. Nah, um, oh no. <laughs> check out. You know, go leave us a review. If you don't want to be a Patreon, that's fine. Go leave us a review at. You know, on YouTube, you know, like, like, and share, and subscribe, and leave a comment. Um, go to Apple Podcasts yeah. and leave us a review. Tell us how much you just like can't stand how negative Levi is. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Fucked up. Yeah, and no, I mean that's it though. Yeah, that's uh, man. Linktree. Do all the things. Slash WalkPod. Yeah. Did you tell him about our friends? Piece of God, shit. kicking it with the Kellys, the Remedy Room, Dutch and Denver podcast, uh, No New Friends podcast. Yeah, I think that's it. All right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I've had enough. Peace out. Tip your bartender.